Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this JPEG bitmap, and you can see it's got a bounty box, so it's going to have a white background. I'm a little bit confused on whether they wanted a cut line around it or they wanted a circle all the way around it. Well, he said he can't do it. Well, it's because there's a bounding box and it's white and it's fuzzy and um, you can see it right there where mine is sharp and crisp. So I'm going to go through this. It's not unlike any other trace in a bitmap. But for the one I'm doing it for, I'm going to make a copy of it. And I'm going to make it really small. So it's less than two inches. My nudge factor is set on three. So we're going to zoom in on this graphic. And we're going to trace it. I'm not going to have to do anything to it. I don't have to go to bitmap, convert it to a bitmap. I don't have to resample it because it's going to be huge because I reduced it. So I'm just going to go to Trace Bitmap, Outline, Trace Clip Art. And it traces it pretty good. And I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to move over the new copy. Now you can see it's got a white inside. So go up to Object, Group, and Ungroup. And normally you could, you know, pick out the white or pick out the black with Find and Replace. But I'm just going to grab the black and move it over. I'm going to grab that black. So I'm just using the right arrow keys. And then do each letter. You could quite possibly have gotten rid of all the white. No, it's broken up too, so it doesn't really matter. So now we can get rid of that. Matter of fact, we can turn off our yellow box um, by just clicking on it and hitting, hitting delete. So we'll just delete all this. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. I didn't have it all grouped or grabbed it all. And that's all he needs. That's all he wanted. But he, I'm uh, real particular about some things. And um, that right there doesn't look like the tip of a screwdriver. So if we grab, and all these are is fills. So if we grab that right there, we can bring that in. And this is, you know, personal preference, but I think it's going to look more like a screwdriver. Now, if that's that guy's perfect logo, the other thing are the stars. The stars didn't trace very well. So just make you a new star. I kind of held down the shift and the control button, but I didn't really know where the middle was. That's close enough. Now I'm going to just delete that other one. Take this one and left click, right click. Now we've got the size of the star we wanted. So I'm going to add a duplicate. And I can bring in some indexing lines and put it right there and go ahead and delete that. Because when I start moving this, I'm going to hold down the control button. So it has to go left to right and it's get it right there on there. The only other thing I see that could be fixed in the graphic is this area right in here, you know, that needs to be a little more rounder. So I'm going to delete nodes. That looks pretty good. Now this one, this outside should be round. The inside is a little bit funky, but it, it's not really worth messing with. Well, I'm going to left click, right click. And then I'm going to go to object and break the curve apart. And I'm just going to get rid of that outside circle. Now there is a center part of this. So I'm going to grab my ellipse and go right to the middle, holding down the shift and the, con well, holding down the shift button and the control button. And you get that right there. Now, if I was doing this for myself, I would go ahead and fix those tips too on the inside, but it's good enough. They all, you know, this is a ratcheting wrench type deal. But that's good enough for the graphic. Then I would just kind of look over it all, you know, like right there. You're going to find that a lot on uh, pictures. I'd go in and uh, redo this circle. Um, that's a little bit different because what we can do is left click, right click, 
to that's actually a fill. So now let's take an ellipse, holding down the control button and the shift. Now I'm going to nudge that my new circle out of the way, just so I can grab the old circle. And whenever you see that, you need to break the curve apart because you ought to be able to grab just the circle. Hit delete, go over and find this one, nudge it back, take your smart fill tool, fill that in and voila, you have a better circle. Now, but that wasn't really a question. Now it's all still broken apart so we can go right here to the boundary tool, put a boundary around it. Now, the only difference in this that I see that it's not engulfing the stars, well, let's see what happens when we, maybe we can contour a little bit. Go up to effect, contour, we'll contour 0 0.01 to the outside. That's gonna give us a little bit thicker. <clears throat> so. If you were going to cut this out of a sticker, those stars would fall out. So the only other way to do it would want to make those stars a little bit bigger. So we're going to have to go to object, break the curve apart, make those stars a little bit bigger or quite possibly bring them down a little bit. So they're part of the graphic. And then take the uh, virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. Now we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool and fill that back in, because we're gonna have a new shape, because those stars are still separated. But we're gonna take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in, and then left click, right click. Now the only thing we're doing wrong is that our stars are not, you know, in the, in the real graphic, they're not in there. I'm going to turn that red, but that would be a cut line. But he actually said something about a circle. Uh, and you can see the stars are not perfect. But with this graphic, you could actually uh, just take that star away, take that star away, and actually fill in with the Smart Fill tool those stars there. But he really said something about a circle. So let's back up, just back up everything. And I would do it in the center of the page. I would group this together, control G to group, and then hit P. That'll put it in the center of the page. Um, I'm gonna bring in an indexing lines, P. And then I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna get my lips tool. I'm gonna right to the center while holding down the shift and the control button. That way it'll grow evenly. And there you have a circle around your object that would cut out if you were using a sticker. And because we have no white background, it'll be, um, everything else will be transparent. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.